Hello guys, uh, today we're going to be looking at the preliminary audit engagements. Uh, this is the starting point of an audit. Uh, I am your accounting buddy and uh, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos which are very important. Now, the preliminary audit engagement is done at the beginning of an audit engagement which assists the auditor in identifying and also evaluating events or circumstances that may adversely affect the auditor's ability to plan and perform the audit engagement effectively. The first step would be to investigate the client. This is where we are going to decide if we accept a new client or maybe deciding on whether to continue with an existing relationship with a client or not. So in ca the case of a new client, we're going to look at the business environment. We're going to un try to understand how their business dealings work, uh, the kind of environment that they are working in, and just try to uh, have an overall view or understanding of their business. Another thing that we're going to look at is the integrity of the management or the people charged with governance of that entity so that we don't have any ethical problems or issues later which may arise and could have been detected early so this is one of the major reasons why we first have to investigate the client you know to find if they're ethical you do not want to be dealing with a client who is on the wrong side of the law or is constantly on the news for the wrong things so you ideally want to deal with someone who is or who uploads upholds uh, ethical standards now that we've investigated the client and we're satisfied with the integrity of the management of the client we now have to go and determine the skills and resources that may be needed in order to perform the audit efficiently and effectively so now we're going to look at a variety of things it would also depend on the type of uh, client that we're dealing with it could be a manufacturer it could be uh, uh, it could be a distributor it could be in uh, the motor vehicle industry it could be in the airplane or aviation industry because clients differ from client to client with the kind of businesses that they do so the resources will obviously have to differ so now if it's in the case of a new client we we really have to do a thorough determination if we've got the skills or and the resources because sometimes we might not have the skills and this is when an auditor will acquire an auditor's expert. This is someone with expertise in the field that um, the entity operates in, the one that you're going to be auditing. So this expert, uh, this auditor's expert is going to assist you with the audit, but ultimately the audit report will be comp complied, uh, compiled by the auditor and the auditor will be the one to look at if they issue out you know a premature opinion so the the responsibilities and everything still still rests with the auditor so in this stage we just look at those things which the skills the resources that are needed to perform the audit so in this stage this is where you have to really do a thorough determination another factor of a preliminary engagement is that there has to be compliance with the relevant standards and ethical requirements to do the audit. So the auditor must not compromise their ethical standards and uh, their requirements because integrity is one of the key characteristics of an auditor or an audit firm. This is what is expected of an auditor. So if they find themselves dealing with dodgy companies with dodgy management and dodgy business dealings that might harm the ethical side of uh, things in terms of compliance so audit the auditor or the audit firm always has to uphold audit i mean uh, ethical standards and other relevant standards highly when they take on or decide to continue with an audit client so the preliminary audit engagements is to establish the terms of the engagement uh, auditing standards require that an auditor and the client should agree on the terms of the engagement in terms of how the engagement will be conducted the resources that might be needed and the duration of the audit and another thing is that the agreement must be in writing and the usual form would be in a form of an audit uh, engagement letter this is like some it's basically a contract 
it's basically a contract to acknowledge that or to actually put in writing that this is what we are going to do this is what you expect us to do do you agree with the following and then they both sign the the contract and this is where the audit picks up and then the audit can begin from there so this is a very critical stage and no audit engagement letter no audit uh, thank you for watching the video if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up see you on the next video bye bye